Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm back with another YouTube video and today we're going to be comparing the all new CR Touch, a new bed leveling sensor that Creality have released. This bed leveling sensor is set to release in mid-June. It's currently on pre-sale for $49.99 and of course I'll have the link below in the description. So we're just going to be talking about a little bit of the differences between that and of course the BL Touch, which is, you know, a little bit of the predecessor some would say um, to the CR touch closer to the end of the video I will also be talking a little bit about installation um, that won't be too long really it's essentially the same as how you would install the BL touch with only a few differences but with that out of the way let's just get right into this and let's do some comparison first comparison what you guys are probably most interested in and that is the price so I looked online and the cheapest BL touch kit that I could find was priced around $35 um, you know give or take it is a little bit of an older product so there's gonna be a lot more sales with this I found the CR touch of course on really only the Creality website it's currently set to ship in mid-June and of course it's selling for $49.99 so that is a $15 difference between, you know, the CR Touch and the BL Touch. And we're going to be talking a little bit about whether that $15 price gap is worth it or not. Going on to some of the more important physical features, we're going to be looking at the actual tip, which is arguably the biggest physical difference. On the CR Touch, it actually comes stock with a metal tip, unlike the BL Touch, which comes standard with a plastic one. And I think this is a pretty big game changer because most of you with a BL Touch will know that the plastic tip tends to, of course, degrade over time. And third party companies make, you know, metal tips that you could buy extra or you could just buy a bunch of plastic tips. Creality has just decided to sort of cut out that middleman and they have it come stock with a metal tip. Um, of course, like the BL Touch bed leveling sensor, this replaces the Z stop sensor. And what this does is it actually creates a map of your printer showing where the deviations exist, allowing your printer to adjust for that and allowing for a more smooth print. So next, moving on to the actual color, the CR Touch is black with a gloss Creality logo on the front. I think that's a pretty nice feature, especially if you know those of you guys are concerned with uh, branding and whatnot. I think having a Creality product on another Creality product, that could look pretty good. Um, whereas the BL Touch has the black BL Touch logo on a white body. This bed leveling sensor is going to be compatible with all of the Ender printers. This includes the Ender 5 Pro, the Ender 3 Max, and of course Ender 3 V2. Additionally, they have noted that any Creality printer with a 4.2.2 or 4.2.7 motherboard will be compatible with this bed leveling sensor. <laughs> In terms of the release date, something I mentioned earlier, Creality have mentioned that it is set to ship in mid-June, whereas the BL Touch is obviously already on the market. However, depending on stock and availability, the CR Touch may sell out and have a later ship date. So on screen, I'm gonna throw up some photos from the Creality website, showing what the installation brackets included actually look like. They also come with, of course, the necessary screws and I think this is actually pretty useful because Creality is actually including the metal brackets as opposed to you having to print them out. Creality claims that they've compiled data from hundreds of thousands of users and actually used it to perfect the CR Touch. I'm assuming that this data is of course based on other bed leveling sensors, including the Z-Stop sensors that come stock on all Creality printers. In terms of the actual installation brackets included, the Ender 3 V2 has been known predominantly for not being able to accommodate for the BL Touch, so Creality has ensured that they include a actual bracket that is designed for the Ender 3 V2. And surprisingly enough, the bracket for the Ender 3 V2 is the smallest out of the three. As far as installation goes, you simply screw in the CR Touch onto its appropriate holes on the actual hot end of whatever printer you have. On screen I'm showing you an image for the Ender 3 V2 which has two holes on to the left of the hot end which accommodate for the CR Touch. 
Other than that guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I will likely be releasing update videos as the date approaches, or I'll be releasing a video once this item actually ships, showing you guys a little bit more in depth of what this bed leveling sensor can do. While I'm at it, I'll likely be purchasing a, another BL Touch as well, just to see a little bit more of the physical differences, and also seeing if I can actually find some more differences possibly not mentioned in this video. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. I really would appreciate your support if you found this video helpful, and I hope to see you guys around.